Hi there, welcome to exam screen. Um, this video is for uh, teachers um, who have started to use uh, exam screen in classrooms to do practice exams, practice papers with their students. Um, the purpose of uh, giving this access over to teachers is so that uh, they can, as far as possible, replicate um, the conditions in which the students will be um, actually sitting their exams and if you're an exam screen school then all your exam information clock and everything like that will be um, displayed using exam screen um, so it's great for the students to get used to it uh, it you know getting used to their environment means that it's less uh, daunting when the when the day comes and obviously we also know that when people practice things in the most realistic conditions they tend to get the best outcomes from their practice um, so I'm just going to take you through very quickly how to use exam screen it's it's really really simple um, if you're a teacher you will have been given um, I'm just going to log out actually if you're a teacher you will have been given a um, login uh, credentials um, for uh, for your school's specific revision account. So I'm just going to use my school's uh, revision credentials to log in. Like and when you log in, uh, it takes you directly to the screen. Um, so uh, obviously, if you're setting up to run an assessment in class, then you're going to want to, to add your exam um, to the screen. So uh, you can do that manually by typing it in. Um, so for example, uh, you might want to put something like this. Um, let's say. OK, so um, the way that we sort of encourage um, uh, the sort of naming convention around exams and the system that we use is to use the level so GCSE then the subject name biology and then the paper code um, so this would be uh, with the edXL exam board that's their their paper code for uh, paper one biology foundation um, you then want to put in the duration of the exam so this is a one hour 45 minute exam if you've got any students in your class who have extra time then you can assign extra time to the exam as well 25% uh, is the normal but this you can move the slider around to um, to give more or less time uh, time as well um, so that's all added uh, so that's basically set up to go you press save uh, and I would also put it into full screen and you can increase the size of the text like that okay and then when you kick the exam off you just put in your start time so say you start at 11 o'clock you can just put that in there like that and you'll see that the start time finish time and the 25% extra time also um, comes up on the board um, a few little other features uh, on the screen that you can use so you can switch to a kind of a dark mode like that if the students prefer it or if that's what you're doing in your main exams I would sort of find out from your exams officer uh, you can take the seconds off the clock like that and then reapply them um, some students can find the seconds distracting so I know what some schools do is they take them off during the exam and then sort of you know with maybe 10 minutes to go they'll put them back on um, this is a resources tab here so if you click on this uh, you can get access to for example the JCQ posters so you can talk students through regulations uh, there is also we also have um, the invigilator instructions uh, announcement that takes place at the beginning um, of the exam uh, we have a video for that as well so you can actually play that to the students beforehand that gets them uh, accustomed to the announcement that happens um, at the beginning of exams so just to go back to the screen again um, and uh, show you uh, another way that you can actually um, add exams as well so uh, if I just go back into edit mode I'm just going to delete this exam so um, Another way that you can do this is if you know the date of uh, your exam in the summer, you can actually search through our calendar uh, and find that date and your exam will be there. So I'm just going to navigate to May the 13th like that. It will just take me out of full screen mode when it does that. So you just have to remember to put it back in um, and then check the drop down menu. 
and you'll see that uh, all the exams for your school are listed for that day. So your exams officer from their admin account will have curated your exam screen system so that uh, on any exam day, only the exams that are relevant to your school will show, um, show in the drop down menu. So I'm going to select English literature there. Uh, I'm actually not going to apply the extra time this time. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to click save, full screen it, increase the text again. Okay, so um, so that's basically how you use exam screen. Uh, there is another view that you can access as well. This is what we call a single exam view. Uh, most schools tend to use the multiple view, even if they only have one exam. That's the sort of standard view. Um, but again, it might be something worth talking to you with your exams officer about, you know, whether or not they use that that view when there's there's only one exam going on. So that's how you use it. If you want to um, ask me any questions at all, there's uh, access to the contact form there from that menu. Um, good luck with it. I hope it really uh, benefits your students and helps them with their preparation for exams.